everyone, it's Jeanette. So just wanted to quickly do this video and I know it's been like forever since I've last posted a video, but that doesn't mean I have not been crafting. It's just been crazy, you know, trying to post videos on YouTube and yeah, it's just <laughs> life's been crazy. Yeah, so I just wanted to come on here and share with you guys my random hauls from the scrapbook expo I attended here in Duluth, Georgia. I have been going for the past, I don't even know, years. So I guess I will be right back to share the goodies I've purchased. And yeah, so I will be right back. Alrighty, so I'm back. So quickly before I get started, again, I attended the Scrapbook Expo here in Duluth. And before I get started in sharing anything with you guys, I just wanted to share that like three weeks ago I ended up hurting my finger and like literally I hope my nail doesn't fall off but it's like super duper black and that's gonna be so distracting <laughs> that's why I just put washi and yeah another thing was that I was gonna be recording at the expo but like my hands I would be using this hand you know to hold my phone and obviously sharing with you guys but it was just gonna be craziness and that is why you guys see washi on my thumb so okay enough rambling I went to the scrapbook expo and again I usually go on Saturdays but this time around I had to go on Friday which was actually my birthday and yeah it was um different last year was my first time taking classes this year I ended up not taking any classes I decided to save that money and use it for my scrapbooking supplies, things that I ended up purchasing because literally I was going to take, I believe, three classes on Friday and I was going to be going back Saturday to take one class that came out to like almost 120 something dollars and I was just like, hmm, kind of thought about it and decided not to. So again, usually the Scrapbook Expo comes like on the week of my birthday which obviously I'm always looking forward to but yeah again rambling I went to the expo and then they usually yeah since I didn't take any classes I ended up purchasing the ticket at my local scrapbook store which is impressive ideas and that is why I actually got that I support button but I will get to that in a little bit so again I went on Friday early bird time or whatever and usually when you're in line they hand you like a ton a ton of coupons which I usually like there's times when there's some good deals but then then there's really not so again I really just went looking I there was nothing really you know in my wish list or anything like that and yeah so Again, this was the floor plan. It was, I think, bigger than last year's, and I don't know. So, that was that. I actually ended up bumping into Veronica, <laughs> you know, here from YouTube, and then I also saw Christina put both of their links to their YouTubes down below, but yeah, so I just bumped into them, and yeah, just said hi. <laughs> so, this is the thing where you can get, you know, your lanyard with this cute metal thingamajiggy at the bottom. But you're able to get all of these, but of course, I only got a certain amount. I'm like rambling, but that is actually when I cropped is when you attend a crop. I believe you pay for a table or something like that and you can crop, you know, the three days, whichever day you end up choosing or paying for. And then the I support is when you purchase your admission ticket from your local scrapbook store. I helped when you volunteered. I created is when you create at the very back of the, you know, expo. There's like a table where you can sit down and create something. I shopped when you spend more than 150. I learned is when you take a class. I swapped. It's a card swap. And then I returned is if you've been to previous expos. And then you're able to purchase these three here. I believe they're four dollars a piece and then again it's just the the show guide so that was just me rambling again my very first time that i actually get the lanyard thingy 
because you're supposed to, which I don't get. I saw on their Facebook group that some people had repeated buttons, which I thought you had to have four different buttons. I don't know, but some people actually ended up getting the lanyard and it was just kind of, I don't know. I was kind of confused about that. So again, you're supposed to get four buttons and then you're able to get the lanyard. And then if you conquer, meaning you basically end up getting all the buttons, which that's just hard for me because I cannot go to the make and take and do the cropping. It's just, that's just, I can't. So I returned because I've been there before, bought my ticket. I, you know, did the kind of make and take create at the creativity center. I believe that's what it's called. And then the I shopped cause I spend <laughs> way too much. And then I just ended up purchasing the other button since it was my first time getting the lanyard. I also, at, when I purchased these buttons, I ended up picking up this um, clear block, which just say Stamp and Scrapbook Expo, which, yes, I think it was like $5. I seriously did not mind. Since I was at the front, I saw this and decided to just pick it up. And, okay, so I'm going to try and remember what ended up happening okay so i guess this year they did not even give anything out they usually there's usually a coupon inside this bag but this is a bag that you sign up with you know and that they hand out to you and they usually again give you this bag with something in there and this time around there's nothing um i don't know what it was but they usually would give a glue stick or like a coloring pencil or one of these spectrum newers yeah markers they used to do that. I don't know what happened this year, but this year it was just empty. It was just one of these reusable bags, which is totally fine, you know, but I don't know what happened this year. And so this is, this is a card that I created at the Creativity Center, which again, they had like a certain, I guess, guide. I don't know what you would want to call it, how people had actually created theirs, but I just went with something different ended up using less you know butterflies and again it was super duper simple it's just something that you create to actually get the button and it was actually from the melissa's francis booth they ended up you know i guess sponsoring or giving this to the creativity center so we can create so that was that and with the melissa francis booth i ended up going and just picking these um, adhesives, you know, double-sided tape, which was, I believe, 6 for $10, which I didn't think was bad. I kind of think that I should have gotten more of these than the thinner ones, but I just decided to pick up two of each. So, so two of the wide, I guess, one inch, then a half inch which oh yeah which is this one here and then a quarter of an inch which is that one there which again I just picked up two of each which was ten dollars and again it was just because I thought it was a great deal and I mean why not I that's, I was literally there by myself it was like not that fun but I mean it's what happened <laughs> but okay so that was that booth Melissa Francis and then I guess just write paper crafts or I think it was scrap mart I don't know I it was buy one get one free of the lawn fawn and I honestly did not own these two so that's why I just picked them up so I basically paid six dollars for these it's the happy and the mom script again that was a great deal like I mentioned I was really not going there for like oh my goodness sales and whatnot it was just me enjoying myself and you know if I saw something that I liked I just picked it up kind of thing but this was I don't even remember because I did not get charged tax for these it was cash and it was a dollar each and I just picked up these October afternoon alphas which again you can never go wrong with alphas and again they are October afternoon and yeah I don't remember what booth this was because again I didn't get a receipt anything like that the other thing was 
this cute pink bag. Oh my goodness. It's so funny. This is from Pink and Main. And I'm sure you guys have heard of this company. And they are actually based off of Georgia, which is pretty funny, you know, considering that <laughs> I live here. But I had seen in a scrapbook expo haul that they had a, some cute stamp and dies, but I was only able to pick up the thanks one because they did not have the hello one, which I mean, you can't ever go wrong with hello anything. But again, it's pink and main, which again, I'm sure you guys have heard of. And I believe, yeah, it was just the regular price, $8 for a stamp and then for the dies. I, again, I have seen different reviews through YouTube, you know, the other buyers from different states saying that there was deals going on, but apparently what I got wasn't. And it's okay, but again, I was not going for deals. I was basically going for, you know, what I liked. And then their sequence, which um, was a dollar each. I mean, these are super duper cute. They're like some like iridescent butterflies. And then I just picked up three of different colored like like little bloom flowers. Hopefully you're able to see there. And again, they were a dollar each. And yeah. And then this is from the Nicole Peterson booth, which again, she carried actually stamp and stamping products, which was MFT, Lawn Fawn, I believe like a ton of things but i just ended up picking these these things up again nothing was on sale i ended up paying like 40 something dollars for these things but again it's basically regular price i guess i haven't really looked on the mft website but i got these which are the peekaboo windows which because i had seen a card there i picked that up and then this hello die big hello is what it's called and then just these DIY shop word stickers, which I had picked up on scrapbook.com, I believe, a while back. That's why I picked up another set. And then this goodness gracious die. I have never heard of Cutterbee, but they're pink dyes. <laughs> and yeah, it's like the sugar skulls from the Day of the Dead. So I just picked this up. I cannot wait to use these. So that was that and then she also had some sequins again that's why I picked up a couple of these I believe they were five for ten dollars something like that there's no name or anything like that it was just some sequins that some sequins mixes or whatever that she ended up putting together you can actually see some like tiny seed beads in there hopefully which oh my goodness like the staticky thingy good luck with that one but again it's the Nicole Peterson booths and yeah okay so the stamps of life i just ended up going in there i'm not part of their you know kit club or anything like that i had to pay a regular price which is kind of a bummer but i wish i had like somebody that like i knew that could just purchase them for me and i could just give them the money <laughs> you know so i can get the sale but i'm already you know a part of the simon say St stamp club which again, I'm not going to ramble too much, but I just do not want to join a club right now. This one, which I've seen so many videos on YouTube, I did not pick up last year and totally regretted it. Just waited till this year to end up going, but this was $24.99. And again, there's a ton of videos on YouTube that I, yeah, this was, it's called... The gift card envelope again i saw some cute inspiration that's why i picked this one up and then i wanted to take her class again this was one of the classes that i wanted to take but i didn't because it was just craziness and i don't know what the name of this one is but uh yeah so if you purchase i believe oh so you get there's like a little coupon where you can get a little stamp and this was my freebie and if you spend, I believe, more than $50, you are able to get a bag. And that is this one that I ended up getting. So hopefully you're able to see it. But it's this one here. And again, last year I ended up getting one too. But I was glad <laughs> that it was different because 
I would not as I would not want to have two bags of the same kind. But again, that was from the Stamps of Life. I seriously did not even take any pictures this year, which is crazy. Again, I went by myself and it was just, I don't know. I was into it, but not really just because it was my birthday. So my personal things going on and yeah. So that was that booth. And then this was another one where they actually give you another tote if you spend $20 or more which I wasn't a huge fan of them because I'm not, seriously, I'm not into Disney. <laughs> which is funny, everybody's gonna hate me because everybody's into Disney. I mean, when I was in California, I would go to Disney like all the time, but I'm like all the way in Georgia. I've been to Disney World in Florida, but again, it's just, yeah. <laughs> so again, you got a free tote. There is different kind, but this is the only one that basically got my attention. It was actually from Tom Mouse, and I just ended up picking up some sequins. I know there's like a ton of sequins that I ended up picking up, but these I know were from the Dollar Tree. I know that they were a dollar, but they were $2 here, and the last time that I actually picked these up, I ended up mixing. I know, what was I thinking, right? These, I would mix all the greens, <laughs> and I can literally show you guys you know whenever I do do another storage solution for my sequence but that was just crazy like these I mixed with all my greens and I don't know what I was thinking but yeah so I'm gonna find a different solution but I ended up just picking up one of each of the ones that I ended up getting I mean finding and yeah so again that was Tom House and then they just shared like a little guide of how you can create shaker pockets Again, that was that booth. And then this one, which is called Sparkle and Sprinkle. I ended up going there to pick up their Nouveau Drops were buy five, get one free. So I ended up picking up two sets. So technically I ended up getting 12 of the Nouveau Drops. And, and yeah, so I'm not gonna go into detail with the colors because I'm sure you guys have heard of these. But um, some other booths, I think they were like $3.19. Like my local scrapbook store sells them for like, I don't know. But I was like, I think this was a good deal. I mean, I think they come to like $2.49 a piece. So I ended up picking up this, like <laughs> I said, I was not going to read these. I don't even know. Morning Dew. Oh, goodness. Crushed Grape. Apple Green. Caribbean Ocean. Again these had been on my joanne cart for like the longest time it's just that shipping was like six dollars i mean it basically comes up to regular price if you really think about it and yeah so this one red berry again it's just this orange one a white one this i think this one's translucent blue it's like a sea breeze but this one's translucent and i picked it up because i think i had seen a card you know like for it to look like water droplets kind of but again i'm just rambling this yellow one and then this black one and then this pink and purple again i just picked up these nouveau drops from that booth because that's what i was really going for again i had been wanting to pick them up from joann's and finally just found them there and picked them up so the last booth which i was about to just leave and go home already but it was from craft fancy which oh my goodness this booth is the one that i spend the most and when i was about to check out i just told the person there you know oh do you guys happen to have a sale going on he's like uh no i was just like oh bummer but i was totally okay with it because again i just splurged and ended up purchasing sorry this is from like my local scrapbook store that I just have sitting here because I wanted to work on something but again my birthday weekend and I picked up this cute basket which again it was one of the new releases from like April or something like that but I wanted to pick it up and finally did this one which is this um, pandemonium the stamp and dies again 
such a cute set like the, you can't go wrong with pandas i believe like the black part does stamp out solid so it's like super duper sweet and simple to actually create cards with these so that was that one that i picked up and then this just friend um stamp which yeah friend indeed i just totally loved this font and i believe that there's a die i just don't know but there's hola and again super cute sentiments that i just decided to pick this one up and then this one which is called celebration yeah celebration balloons and i think it's probably like two months old or something like that with the last release but i just decided to pick this one up because again super duper cute and then the coordinating dies and then these dies which some of them i guess because they're longer words like this one was ten dollars and then this was seven these were 750 but again just some script dies that i just decided to pick up this one that says happy this one that says thanks and then this one that says birthday again sorry i was forgetting this one which says um congrats and this one was 950 but when, when i went to the register i had asked him if there was any coupons he told me no and just like did like a little winky face and then um gave me 10 percent off my entire purchase which again super duper exciting and i like super duper appreciated because it was my birthday and yeah so again i did not seriously go through all the you know vendors and just literally went to the ones that i knew if i saw something you know that caught my eye i just ended up going there but first time that i seen that they carried mama elephant stamps and dies um stephanie bernard is basically her second year here and yeah super excited that the new wool drops were there and yeah so <laughs> that is my randomness hopefully you guys sticked around um and yeah okay so sorry so i almost forgot <laughs> seriously i've purchased so many things that i was already putting things away because it's already literally sunday monday <laughs> sunday <laughs> And I know that this video is not going to go up till Monday night, Tuesday morning kind of thing. But this was like already put away. I believe this was from, oh goodness. Yeah, I believe this was from Scrap because they were like at the very entr like entrance kind of thing. And this snap was, snap binder folder album was $8.50. The black one, I believe, was ten dollars i don't know why but um i just picked this one up these bella boulevard i believe were four for five dollars um i think it's basically or if not if you just pick up two they would be a dollar fifty kind of thing something like that and yeah, so i just picked up these bows and then this pumpkin spice by simple stories um i ended up finding the collection which I debated on purchasing and then found this you know on the other side of the wall and just went back for it but again it's like a fall themed which again super duper cute and then there's some other cards in here and I believe these collections were six dollars yeah and so that was that one and then this other one which is called the I guess it's called Alex whatever that stands for and I am but <laughs> it's a boy collection which you guys know I have boys and yeah I just decided to pick this one up and then again six dollars and then this cute Halloween collection which is called spectacular and hopefully this year I do something Halloween-y like in regards to uh, like an October daily that I've seen or like a little mini, you know, yeah. So that's that collection. And then these two collections were $2. And again, Simple Stories. And I do know I own this collection, like some of it. So that's why I just decided to pick this up for $2. And then like there's quite a good amount in there. So just pick that one up and then this one 
which is called Hope. Again, super duper cute. And again, $2. So that is, again, my randomness of a haul from the Scrapbook Expo. I had fun. It was just craziness. Hopefully next year I can plan it and actually take classes. I know there was a couple of girls that told me that they were looking for me, you know, at the floor, but I really this time around went on Friday instead of Saturday like I usually do but hopefully next time around I can like post it all over social media so you guys can know and yeah so that is it thanks so much for watching everyone bye